Welcome to the SFPOA News Roundup. While some on Thursday were arguing that crime in the city was way worse in the 1970s, a rash of crimes spread across the city, affecting people who live in the city today. Let's start with robberies. On Van Ness and Redwood, a 26-year-old man was robbed of his cell phone by two men who threatened the victim with a knife. At 12.45 p.m. at North Point in Polk, two men wearing masks threw a 15-year-old victim against a wall, put a knife on his chest, punched him in the stomach, and stole the kid's Nike jacket and black shoes. At 2.30 p.m. on Grove Street, two juveniles walked up to a woman, ripped her cell phone from her hands, and fled on foot. In the Northern District, two juvenile suspects, yes, more juvenile suspects, wondered a 13-year-old victim demanding his cell phone and credit card, intimidating the boy to giving up both. An aggravated assault occurred in the Tenderloin. The victim sustained an injury when the suspect sprayed her with pepper spray. The victim was transported to a hospital and is in stable condition. There were two hot prowls. These are the burglaries that happen when the resident is in the house. One hot prowl occurred in the Mission, where the suspect accessed the garage and stole two bicycles. The other occurred in Ingleside, where three female occupants saw two prowlers in their home. Luckily, they only made off with $11. In the Tenderloin, an unknown suspect shot a female victim who was transported to a local hospital and is in stable condition. In the Bayview, a 74-year-old woman heard shots fired and later found out that her garage door was shot up. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick rundown on the crimes that happened in our neighborhoods on Thursday. We're not sure why some want to discuss crime in the disco era, but we'll be giving you facts about safety in San Francisco in real time. 